Dagon. One of the main villains of Mortal Kombat Armageddon and the leader of the notorious Red Dragon clan in Mortal Kombat. Also, he's kind of the man responsible for the demise of Kenshi's wife and Takeda's mother in Mortal Kombat X. And he's another one of those weird characters that were hinted at quite a bit in the last trilogy of Mortal Kombat games but never actually appeared. So I figured now is good a time as any to actually give him a redesign, so let's see what I got. Okay, so a couple of you have actually requested that I do a redesign of Dagon in Mortal Kombat. I think now I've officially done every member, at least that I can think of, in the Red Dragon Clan in Mortal Kombat. There's still some holes in the Black Dragon Clan that I still need to fill. I'm actually more of a fan of his than I am Taven in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Taven's cool and all, but I just felt like Dagon kind of had a screwed up backstory for real. When you take into account the unnecessary journey or game that Delia and Argus put the two brothers on for seemingly no reason, it didn't amount to anything and Dagon being waken up far earlier than he was supposed to actually corrupted his mind and made him evil in the first place. Which is also strange that the younger brother is actually older now than the older brother is, that's crazy in and of itself. But both of the brothers' story is kind of a little messed up when you take into account that like neither one of them actually won the battle at Armageddon. Also, it's worth mentioning that Dagon is the half-brother of Rain. Another reason why I want him and Tegan to come back. And in the new timeline of Mortal Kombat, there is seemingly no trace of the Red Dragon or Black Dragon clan for that matter. Which gives me carte blanche to just start doing whatever I want as far as the design is concerned. Which is also a difficult task because in comparison to Tavon Dagon's design is actually really good in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. While seemingly no members of the Red Dragon actually match in how they look, his design still looks pretty cool by itself. But all that out the way, let's see what an actual Dagon design will look like if given a redesign and trying to fit into this new era of Mortal Kombat. You used to be faster than me. Last time we raced through Father's Temple, I believe you won. Seems like only yesterday. It was yesterday. I suppose it was. For you. Alright, so starting off, give Dagon a bit of a base pose. Also, this breakdown is going to be a little different from normal ones. I'm just going to talk about the design as a whole. I'm not going to be able to actually break this one down like my normal ones, simply because... This brilliant young man that's currently talking in this video forgot to record the coloring parts of the actual video itself. I don't know how I made that mistake, but it is what it is. But in any event, I did the base for Dagon and then started trying to come up with the design for him that sort of looked similar to his Mortal Kombat Armageddon design, but sort of, I don't know, changed it up a bit. I don't know if I really wanted him to look more menacing or just cooler than the actual Armageddon design. I guess cooler for lack of a better term. I was sort of thinking like a villainous looking regal evil Adenian design for Dagon. Just going a little more overboard with aspects of his design that were there from Armageddon. One way that I actually did go overboard was sort of his armor and the weird like studs on that were like all over his Mortal Kombat Armageddon design. I went even more crazier with that in this one. And then I gave him like multiple plates of armor as well on his upper body while still keeping his skin somewhat exposed and keeping the straps on him like I believe he had on the Armageddon design. I can't really remember off the top of my head, but I believe that they're there. The belt design I think I kept as is. I don't think I changed that whatsoever. And then the glove design is kind of similar in how I did it here in comparison to the Armageddon one. I just kept like an inside strap design and not full on gloves or gauntlets as much as it's like a sort of like protective piece over his arms and fists. And then I put like a longer armor piece on one arm and then not on the other side. Normally, I know I do a lot of asymmetrical designs on this channel, but here it was really like thought out and meticulously done. I sort of wanted it to look like if he had a cape, he could drape the cape over specifically one side of his body and not the other one. I don't know why I felt like if he did something like that, it would look more evil, but that was sort of the thought process and why I gave him sort of like an armored arm plate on one design, at least more like protective gear on one arm and just kept like the cape on that same side. 
the boots design, I didn't want to go way too over the top because I knew he would have a lot just in terms of color and the detail in the rest of his outfit and the other parts of his design. I knew it would start to look like overkill if I went too crazy with the boots. So I knew I was going to leave that somewhat black or just one actual color by itself. And then of course I have a sort of black dragon design on his sash and I also later put one on his pants as well. I didn't really know how I wanted to color his pants until I actually got to that stage of the design. I just knew I wanted all the sort of quote unquote metal pieces of his design to be black or really dark if nothing else. Because I knew everything else was going to be like gold and bright red. So, And then obviously the black dragon tattoo on his face which was a must for this design. Also, I shaded the actual, like, or shaded, I colored the different parts of his sort of metal pieces, different shades of black and gray, just to give it like a different feel of like different kinds of metal in the design itself. Um, I really like his pants design for whatever reason. This is one of the rare times where I do a design that I desperately would like to see in motion in a game. I feel like this design looks like it's set up for crazy combos. And Dagon had a pretty wild moveset in Mortal Kombat Armageddon anyways. I still feel like he plays way better than Taven is. And of course Taven is the one that you're forced to play with, but in any event. I almost forgot to mention that I did a dagger on the side of his clothes. I only gave him one knife and left it on the other side of the body because I didn't want to start cluttering the other half of his design. Where I got the arm covered and then I got the cape and all the other stuff is what have started getting out of control if i started putting more just pieces and things on that side of his body that design would have started to become overkill but i started to like how the design really was shaping up by the time i started doing highlights in it like there's no question in the fact that he looks evil in nature and it's not just the red of the design just how his face looks the bald head the facial hair like there's not really anything nice about how he looks and with the way that he has like the sort of studs and stuff in his actual design i feel like it would hurt to hit him if you missed hitting him on like pretty much his head or lower body like anything else looked like it would hurt like hell well all in all i think it came out good i really also like the uh gold pieces of his design as i started shading that in too like the gold pieces of his armor on top of like the studs in the design really looked good to me and then like doing small spec highlights inside of it as well just to give it like a slight little bit of shine but not too much but i like the way it turned out and once i finished i felt like it looked really cool as a redesign for dagon and he doesn't look as red and bright as the previous dagon design in mortal kombat armageddon not gonna lie i feel like the way i designed him he looked he would fit in like a glove with shang Tsung and quan chi in mortal kombat 1 but that's just me that just seems to be a lot of similarities between this and how their designs look specifically Shang Tsung's for whatever reason I think it might just be the cape but I don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments below and how you feel about this redesign partially because they only made one appearance in the entire series but in any event like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't make sure to hit the notification bells if you haven't so you'll get my updates for future videos on the channel and you all have a good one and I'm out.